Okay, hello everyone. Today is Monday, July 20th. I hope everybody had a great day. We had a member here at MarketTamer.com ask us about doing a small piece on gold, specifically GLD. So we thought it would be a great idea. So tonight we're going to take a look at that. What we're looking at right now is a six-month daily of GLD. And you can see how the stock had uh, gapped higher today and it's you know it's finished at 93.28 and it's sort of right in the middle of this call it triangle pattern we're getting lower highs but we're getting higher lows so this is a big trading range but the trading range is getting narrower with today's gap we're actually hitting the Bollinger Band we cleared these swing highs right here from the end of June so the easiest path resistance now is going to be the to the upside with a challenge of right around that brown that brown trend line. Now, depending if that happens in a week or two or a couple days, it could run right up to 96. Maybe it only gets up to 95, you know, if it takes a, a week or so for this to occur. So the member asked, you know, is there a trading opportunity in the short term on GLD? From a risk-reward standpoint of going long stock or, or a long call, hypothetically, the answer is no. You know, I only see about another dollar and a half, you know, $2.00. Man, if it goes straight up about, you know, from 93.28 to 96. So, yeah, there could be two and a half dollars left. But if it takes a little bit of time, it drops to two dollars, maybe a buck and a half before resistance would be hit. And don't forget about there's a little bit of a swing high here that might slow it down. Probably not a whole lot, but you could try to squeeze out two bucks, let's say. What I would love to see happen is for the stock to come back here and test this cluster of support which is your orange line, the 50-day MA, the 5-day, which is your blue line, the 20-day is your red line. You can see the ledger up here. So this cluster right around $92 is going to act as stout support on any pullback. So you can wait for it to pull back and then buy. That's a possibility. Or you could initiate a short put, naked put, or do a bull put spread, where the short put could be placed at 92, 91, maybe even at 90 with this rising trend line. This is going to continue to slowly move higher. So frankly, short put at strike 90 would be attractive as a possibility. If you're okay with naked puts, that's cool. If not, just buy a long put underneath it. Create a bull put spread. So maybe you short the 90, you buy the 85. Maybe you short the 92 and buy the 87. That'll be a nice credit trade. And then if your, your contingency exit plan is to own shares, so if gold goes down, you could say, who cares? I'm going to own some gold, and that could be a nice diversification for a trader's portfolio. But only you guys know that. So from a risk-reward standpoint, we're sort of in the middle. But if I bring in a longer-term view of GLD, you can see there is a monster head and shoulders pattern, inverted head and shoulders pattern, where the left shoulder's here, the right shoulder's here, and the head's down here. If we were to break the 9750, this would be mega bullish, and the stock could really, really head up. But if you look, you can see where the brown trend line is. That is where we are now. This could be construed as a massive bull flag. This could be construed as a just a triangle pattern shaping out. This could be the rest of the right shoulder finishing before a move higher occurs. So right now, even in the context of a short-term and long-term view of gold, you're sort of in no man's land. A violation of $95 in this trend line gets you up here to $97.50. A violation below $90, then things could get, you know, could get ugly for the gold bulls. So we're at an inflection point. Whatever trade I would want to do, it would be, you know, half-sized. I don't like, you know, placing a big bet here because you don't know which way for sure this is going to bust out of. And then if we go back into the six-month time frame, I also had highlighted a left, right shoulder plus a head here on the short term. This could play out, but you know what? In the short term, to me, it doesn't matter as much because the overall pattern does appear that a breakout is imminent. So short term, maybe some credit trades with a bullish bias. As always, everything in this is for educational purposes only and is not advice or recommendation to buy or sell anything. If you have any more questions, feel free to visit us at markettamer.com. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you later.